Hello, welcome back to my garden. And right now, the dahlia bed, or the dahlia, yeah, the dahlia bed, the dahlia area here, is much neglected. When I did my post Debbie walk around, I think I did a post Debbie walk around, yeah. I said I needed to come in here and do some tidying up and cleaning up. But the first priority for me was start getting the lawn back under control because the grass was getting up to two foot tall in some spots. It was basically out of control. I still have to do finish work over in the rose garden and I have to do work over in the vegetable garden, but they'll be for later today. But my dahlia bed has become very neglected and very much a, a, a mess, a disaster as it were. And last year, the same could be said for my rose garden. And I let that get into a total weedy, disastrous mess. This year it's much better. It's not great, but it's much better than it was. The weeds are more under control. But we're not here to talk about the rose garden. We're here to talk about dahlias. But before I talk about, uh, more about dahlias and what I'm going to be doing or what they look like currently and what I'm going to try to do to recover the dahlias or the dahlia area here, uh, I just want to mention that I have an Etsy store, in case you didn't know. And if you do know that I have an Etsy store and you haven't visited it in a while, now I'm making uh, note cards, five by seven note cards. I have a set of what I'm calling victory cards. They're basically pictures of the old victory posters on the cards. Uh, again, they're five by seven. They're blank on the inside, so you can write the thank you. You can write condolences on your Dahlia bed. You can write happy birthday, whatever you'd like. Uh, I have others with pictures from around the garden here. Uh, on the uh, fronts there, and again, they're all five by seven. And I'll be adding to those on the Etsy store in the next week. Uh, I've actually printed off a bunch yesterday, and they all came out very nice. So I'll be posting up on, on the Etsy store this week, or this upcoming week here. So keep an eye out for that. Please check out all the links below. But enough of all that. The dahlias, they're a hot mess. Let me bring you in closer. All right, I'm gonna start with the verbenas. They look all right. Uh, they always look a little dry and a little Ratty. Thinking about cutting them back really hard and maybe they'll reflush for the fall. Although a, flat, a lot of the flower heads look like they've gone to seed. Some of the dahlias, like the Kevin Floodlight over here, that one I think just needs to be retied up. The Julian's Carnival looks deadish. And then again, we had the eight, maybe eight to 10 inches of rain with that tropical storm. So I'm fearful that some of these just may have gotten root rot or rot of some kind and have killed uh, killed back the tubers. Lilac thyme broke off, tipped over. I don't see any new growth, but we'll take a look at that later on. Ryan C behind it. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Ryan C right there. That was doing beautifully and now it looks dead. So I'm thinking maybe some root rot on that one. Tuber rot and the tubers are just gone. Uh, let's see what else. Some of these just look like they need a major prune back and they'll be okay. Others can just, they just look terrible. And as a dahlia grower, as a, somebody who loves dahlias, I feel pretty bad about this. But that's what we're gonna try to fix today. We're gonna try to fix the dahlias. I'm gonna start here with Kevin Floodlight. Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin Floodlight here. Seems to be a little tangled here with the Verbena, uh, yeah, the verbena. You know what? I may have to give the verbena a hard cut, but I think first we're gonna just try to restake this guy here. He's looking a little wilty, and that could just be excess water. We got a lot of rain with that storm. Now, if you're new to the channel, I did mention a while ago, and I think I've mentioned this two or three times, but I plan on uh, taking all these dahlias up out of the ground this year. Not because my ground freezes here in Eastern North Carolina, because it doesn't, but because I want to relay out or redo the whole dahlia area a bit. And I want to divide some of these dahlias because they're, they've been in the ground for three, four years now. So I think three years, three years. So I want to divide them. And I think it will give me a good opportunity to really reinvigorate this space. That's my theory, my thought. Especially now looking at it, seeing as it's pretty neglected. Let me cut back these uh, verbena here because they're again looking pretty ratty and hopefully it'll reflush for the fall. I'm going to take these down pretty far. And I think I did this last year and they did reflush quite nicely. If you think I'm crazy or you think I'm wrong or you think this is all going to die, please leave those comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Again, I'm a novice gardener. I'm learning, I'm figuring it out as I go along. And I think by doing this too, 
it's going to allow me to really see what's going on here so far as uh, what's growing underneath and not being distracted by all this overgrowth here. And by that I mean I can now see that there are a bunch of weeds that need to be pulled. And I really didn't see that a few minutes ago before I started doing this trimming. See, I didn't notice this grass a minute ago growing here in the bed, so it's a good thing that I did cut this back. Well, there are the verbena cut down. If you think I'm making a mistake about any of this or you have useful tips or advice to give, please leave those comments below. I'm now gonna take a look at this, this one, which I don't know what this is. This is Hulin's Carnival. This is looking really rough. I think what I'm gonna do is cut it right back to the ground. And what I'm hoping, and maybe I'm making a tragic mistake here. I got some weeds here, pull the weed out. What I'm hoping though, is that this might reflush for the fall. Uh, and hopefully the tubers underneath the ground aren't rotting. Hopefully. I don't want to dig down there and find out. <laughs> this red skin dahlia here, had looked like the Hulans Carnival where it was really bad, and I did give it a chop back, and now you can see it's reflushing. So there is hope, and same thing with this one. I mean, there's still a lot of dead growth over there, but you can see some of the, if I pull the camera in more, new growth coming up. So there is hope, and that's what I'm relying on at the moment. <laughs> oh, that lilac thyme looks awful. So let me cut back the lilac thyme, and I gotta take a closer look at this Cornell one because that's also flopped over. It may also be in bad shape, but let me pull them up and then we'll keep going. All right, I had turned the camera off for a bit because it was starting to overheat. But while the camera was off, I proceeded to cut back or trim back quite a few of these dahlias and they kind of look bare, but that's because I took out all of the extra, not extra, but the stems that didn't look like they were doing so hot. Some of these branches just had leaves on them, no sign of new growth, in fact, they were wilting, but they may be showing signs of new growth towards the bottom, so I cut back to that new growth. The stems are hollow, so I don't know if we get further rains, which I'm sure we will, if that will wind up negatively impacting the dahlias, i.e. the water getting into those stems, or if I hand water the water getting into those stems and causing maybe a rot issue from the inside. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I have done this before, maybe not, not, but not to this severity. We will see what survives and what doesn't survive. As you can see, I still have so many more to go, but first I wanted to show you this. This here is my David Howard. Right here at the base is an ant pile. Because with all that heavy rain, the ants were really looking for anything they could use to build up their nests up out of the ground to save their babies. And if they were just regular ants, your average garden ants, I wouldn't have a problem. Unfortunately, they're fire ants, so I have a problem. Hopefully I just put down some ant killer. This is an all natural thing I use called Come and Get It Too. It's a fire ant killer. It works pretty well. Because it's not a very big nest, by tomorrow this nest should be dead. Bigger nests take two to three applications, but let me stop talking. Keep working. I'm gonna turn the camera off because there's no reason for you guys to sit there and watch me cut dahlias here. And the camera's probably overheating as we speak. So, just like that, and I'm back. Woo, a little windy here. Well, I'm done. And uh, it looks like a bit of a war zone. Let me bring you guys in a little closer to show you. So, hopefully as you guys can see here, yeah, I did a lot of cutting, a lot of trimming, a lot of, not even deadheading, just pulling out branches that just, some of these have gotten so overgrown. Some of these, uh, just the outer branches looked rough. Some of the inner branches still look rough. It, it, it literally looks, a war the best looking dahlia here, I would argue, is Lady Liberty right here. Just did some deadheading on top pruned off a couple of small branches on the bottom, but overall she looks the best. This David Howard uh, put on a lot of growth, but because I wasn't on top of it, it did this splaying out as you can see here on the bottom. 
So I did again, some more thinning, just chopping back to better growth, newer growth. Same thing with some of these in the back. Now it looks like I have lost quite a few dollies this year. I have no idea what was in the middle over here. Pretty Woman Dark Angel. So it, uh, yeah, it, it looked pretty much dead, but again, the tubers may be okay and it may push up new growth. May. I mean, it, it does, I'm not gonna lie to you, this looks bad. It, this looks real bad, but I'm hopeful that by taking this action, and I still might come back through and do a little more pruning, which I know is some of you may be screaming no right now. Don't you do it! Don't! Just utterly horrified at what I've done here. This is what we're left with. And, and, and this is all my fault. This is really all my fault. I take full responsibility for this. <laughs> I am the head gardener. I really neglected these dahlias this year. Uh, I couldn't do anything about the rain or the ground saturation, but this is, this is what we're left with. <laughs> so I, I have to laugh because otherwise I cry. There's hope, there's promise, like this new growth pushing up. And here's some more on Fleur. New growth pushing in. So I'm not giving up and I don't think the plants are giving up. And yes, I may have lost some dahlias, but I'm hopeful that come the fall when I dig these guys up, that I can either divide them then or I can divide in the spring, one of the two, but I can get many dahlias out of what's left here and I can refill this space for next year. More experienced gardeners out there, let me know your thoughts, your feelings. Give me your own two cents. This is a pretty big disaster. This is the worst I've ever had it with my dahlias. But again, this is all my fault. I neglected, I didn't stay on top of things. I still have some cleanup to do in here. I still have some weeding to do in here. I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore with that. I try not to bore you guys too much. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe, possibly, I will get another spurt of flowers come the fall. And that will just be really, that'll just give me a little morale boost, if anything. <laughs> that I hadn't, I haven't totally destroyed my dahlias. If you think I've totally destroyed my dahlias, please leave those comments below. Tell me they'll never recover. Tell me I just, just hang it all up, just rip them all out, or you know, maybe a couple encouraging words. Or if you've been through something similar, leave those comments below. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified when I do post a new video. This way maybe you can follow along, and if these do want reflushing and reblooming in the fall, when the weather starts getting cooler, you'll be, I'll be the first one to show you guys to say, hey, not all is lost. There's still some hope in the Dahlia bed here. <laughs> but you have to subscribe. Please check out all those links below. Don't forget to check out my uh, greeting cards or note cards, whatever you want to call them, over on my Etsy store. Don't forget to check out the YouTube community page. I try to post up there every couple of days or every day something different, something new, whether it be a poll or a quiz or something informative. So check out the YouTube community page. Good stuff there. I'm hot. I still have some cleanup to do. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.